close your eyes, and settle in on the breath. Pay careful attention to what you're doing. In other words, what you're doing with the breath and what the mind is doing when it wanders away from the breath. You want to see this clearly. Because as the Buddha said, the problem lies inside with what the mind is doing. It doesn't know what's worth doing. So it does all kinds of things that cause trouble. Discernment is what tells you this is worth doing and this is, and this is not. You learn from experience, you learn from teachings. But that knowledge is not going to serve a purpose unless you're really alert to what you're doing. So try to develop this quality of alertness. As soon as the mind moves, know that it's moving. You can ask yourself, where is it going? While you're sitting here, anything that wanders away from the breath is not wanted. But that doesn't mean when you leave the meditation, anything goes. It's simply that the standards are different. There are things that are worth thinking about when you're engaged in the world outside. You've got to work. think about your work, think about your family, make plans. But you want to make sure that when the mind is engaged in that kind of activity, it's not doing anything harmful, either to yourself in the present moment or to yourself in the long term or to other people in the long term. So always keep watch on the mind. It's not the case that while you're meditating there's one set of rules and then you throw the rules away as you get up from meditation. It's simply a matter of learning which rules apply. And at what level? As I said, while you're meditating, anything that's not related to the breath right now, you just throw away, throw away. Don't even have to consider it. Whereas when you're dealing with the world outside, okay, you do have you do have to consider things. Learn how to reflect a bit. But then keep on using your discernment. Is this activity worth doing? That's the essence of the question the Buddha has you ask. We think of discernment in Buddhism as being about emptiness and three characteristics and dependent core arising. And there are levels of the practice where that is relevant. But the question you ask all the way through, is this worth doing? Foresee the results, and then ask yourself, are these the results that are really things you want? And then adjust your thinking accordingly. This way your discernment becomes really useful. It lessens the amount of suffering you create for yourself, you create for other people. And that's an important issue. We go through life, and some people go through life like, like they're crashing through it. They don't care about the damage they're leaving behind. But then they come back to a damaged world. <laughs> so as you go through life, try to be as neat and as precise as you can in avoiding harm, avoiding damage. That will be your gift to the world. And it's the world you come back to, if you have to come back. An undamaged world. So use your alertness to make sure that you're applying your discernment in the right way all the time.